Good morning, my loves. Welcome to an invitation to cafe. I have lighted a candle for us. The light represents the light of the divine, whatever that means for you. We are bringing divine light into this space, into our time for cafe. As always, I extend to you the connection of the red thread. For those who are unaware, there is an ancient Chinese proverb which tells us that those we are destined to meet in our lifetime are connected to us at birth by an invisible red thread. The thread may stretch, it may tangle, it may twist, but it will never break. I am connected to you as you are connected to me. I am called to the circle as you are called to the circle. I am responsible for my own piece of the red thread as you are responsible for your own piece. I witness you as you witness me and may love be the center of all our choices. A reading, it's a poem by Shiloh Sophia McLeod entitled, She Eats Lightning for Breakfast. This night, she is shedding the skins no longer needed. Heavy trench coats shaken off on the dance floor. As she moves her body, she feels the electricity build. A lightning, a lightening up of all heavy hearts held inside. Turning towards the shadows with wide eyes, she says, I see you shadow stories. Thank you for your teachings. And you are not my master. This dawn, she declares, I will not hide from myself. I will not turn from suffering. I will not let fear dominate my experience. I choose to eat lightning for breakfast. I have lived through the sorrows needed to shape the self that is mine to become. And I will love with an unreasonable appetite for loving what is hard to love. This day, she dances weightless through the crowds of chaos, no longer fearing attack or needing protection, finding finding a freedom that is chosen, the kind that exists in the middle of war. She finds the needs in the world unique to her gifts and nurtures them, unafraid, knowing, deeply knowing. The great, great spirit has chosen us to do a great work. And each of us is preparing ourselves for the journey ahead. This time, is not a time to be out there without being in here. Each of us doing the work we need to do to get free of the stories keeping us from serving beauty. Dance with me through the chaos. 
because I need you. As long as we are in our own way, we cannot go where we are most needed. This is the strange medicine that in tending to the wounds of the world, your own wounds are tended. Your time, this is your time simply because you are alive. The mystery has brought you a sacred assignment. Your piece of the red thread is pulling you forward. Listen up. You don't need to save the world. You don't need to save yourself or get it right. Lay down those heavy thoughts to discover your time has arrived. Just show up. And because of you, what can be saved will be saved. This is more than enough. This is why she eats lightning for breakfast. A great force of light comes through her. She can block it or bear it. The heat is intense. Sometimes it threatens to consume, annihilate. She turns the lightning into prayer. Our inquiry today is, are you doing the work you need to do to get free of the stories keeping you from serving beauty? Uh, sorry for the pause. I need to turn off my notifications so you guys aren't interrupted. So let me read our inquiry again. Are you doing the work you need to do to get free of the stories keeping you from serving beauty? Have you acknowledged the shadow stories? Thank them and let them know they do not have mastery over you or your life. Do you realize that you have lived through the sorrows needed to shape the self that you are destined to become? Are you choosing freedom and being fearless in your work in the world, the work which is unique to your gifts? your piece of the red thread. Have you realized that by simply showing up and doing your own work, tending to your piece of the red thread, that you are doing enough to save what can be saved and what will be saved? Have you turned the lightning into prayers? I invite you to muse upon our inquiry this morning and also for the rest of this week. I invite you to go to your journal and to your canvas as you muse upon our inquiry. Are you doing the work you need to do to get free of the stories keeping you from serving beauty? I'd like to pose that question this morning using the mythical goddess tarot card deck. Let us see what card is chosen for us as we ask our inquiry this morning. Again, our inquiry of, are you doing the work you need to do to get free of the stories keeping you from serving beauty? Just take a moment to shuffle the cards. 
before I pull one. And I'll ask one more time before I pull the card, are you doing the work you need to do to get free of the stories keeping you from serving beauty? And the card that has been pulled is community. <clears throat> Let us go to the book and find out what it says about this card. And you'll have to excuse me because I have to flip through the book to find it. Ah, uh, here we are. And the book tells us nine of Earth community. Venus in Virgo. A diverse circle of nine women sit singing around a blazing fire. Each individual expression contributes to the group harmony. They celebrate and honor their uniqueness, complementing each other and creating dynamic community. Their individual accomplishments bring fulfillment to the whole. Your lesson learned from material gain are now to be shared in community with others. This is the time for wholeness, healing and enrichment. From individual success comes unity, bringing new vision and goals that enrich the entire community. The way I see that as it applies to our inquiry is that it reinforces us to concentrate to focus on our own piece of the red thread. Nine women are sitting around a blazing fire, but they are celebrating and honoring their uniqueness. What is your uniqueness? What is your piece of the red thread? Are you doing the work you need to do to get free of the stories keeping you from serving beauty. For Cafe this morning, I am going to go to my canvas and I am going to muse upon that question. I'm going to consider the card that has been pulled that tells me that I am in a community, but even within my community, my uniqueness is celebrated and honored and that my my uniqueness my piece of red thread is necessary to create community for the whole so i invite you to also to go both to your journal and then to your canvas or your art journal whatever you are creating in and muse upon this question ponder it Think about the reading, the card pull, the meaning of the card, the fact that it emphasized community togetherness, but it was a celebration and an honoring of each of the nine women's uniqueness. What is your uniqueness? What are you bringing to the community to help create wholeness? 
What is your piece of the red thread? I invite you to have cafe. I am adding prayer dots on my latest painting. The prayer dots are for some of our community members who are going through a trying time. This is my part of the red thread. Honoring them by adding prayer dots for them onto my painting. What will you do as your part? And as you do your creative work, hold the question in your mind. Keep the inquiry in the present. Keep the inquiry in your focus. And enjoy your cafe.